Oh man, so your Miami is finally showing chinks in her armor that she tried to put on, you know, as she's been acting unbothered since things been going on with Diddy. You know, she's been mentioned in that wild ass Lil Rod lawsuit, which I told y'all most is cap. I'm gonna get back to that another video because y'all ain't wanna believe me, but more things are coming out to tell y'all. Most of that particular lawsuit is cap, but the other thing that's going on with Diddy, the Cassie stuff, that 16, 17 year old, that's the real deal. But the Lil Rod lawsuit, cap, we can get back to that. But as you guys can see right here, your Miami says, I get tired of being strong all the time. Now this comes after two things. One, a little exchange with 50 Cent, a light exchange, and also being served with papers for another lawsuit involving Diddy. We can get to that. So 50 Cent posted this clip right here that we've been posting and talking about, you know, the past two weeks, dog. I just had a conversation with somebody that day. I said, I'm really, like, I'm more like with a, with a W, like I'm on. But define that, though. Like, I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> So 50 says in the caption, he says, it's okay to be a whore, just make sure you're being overpaid. See a sucker, catch a sucker, 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 drop. You go girl, a little sass worker, LOL. Now 50's comments, young Miami came and said, I think this got taken out of context. It's a gay slur, what's up whore? It's something my gay cousin always said to me. It's cunt, it's, sl it's a slang that we said to each other. That's what I was trying to explain to Jason because he's gay and he got what I was trying to say. I'm not a prostitute. I never sold pussy a day in my life and I hate how this is getting spun. So 50 says in response to that, I like young Miami. I don't want to hurt her or her feelings. I just put her in BMF. She cool. I think they was in a relationship with them other women. Little sex working vibes. So you can go back and read with 50 Cent again. He's saying it's okay to be a whore. Just make sure you're being overpaid. See a sucker, catch a sucker, 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 dry. So he's calling Diddy a sucker, but using this clip to do it. And it seemed like he honestly did not want to hurt young Miami feeling, but you know, 50 gonna shoot at everybody, man. It don't matter. It don't matter. But um, this clip going viral right here. This dude serving young Miami a lawsuit. I'm gonna explain the lawsuit, but check this out right Right here. Dog, ask me to serve Young Miami with this lawsuit. My nigga Charlie C. So I'm about to do it. Bro, my nigga Charlie C. asked me to serve Young Miami with this lawsuit. She's supposed to be in this club tonight. So I got down. I'm about to do it. Okay, can I come out? Yeah. It's, a, it's a bad bitch birthday. Her, her birthday Hello. is next week. So shout out to all the bitches whose birthday is next Absolutely. week. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Young Miami. Yes. Let me get this thing. Oh, it's, a, it's a gift. What is this? What you just say? So my homeboy Charlie C, you've been served. Okay, so y'all heard that right there. Now I pause it so you guys are probably ready to scream, but what they're actually being sued for is that act bad slogan. It all started from Young Miami having Puffy on Carisha Please, and um, they were talking about we go together real bad, and they were talking about acting bad and stuff like that. Then the song came out. Who knows if the song was already in the work, and that was, that's what they was using to promote the song low key. Y'all know how people be trying to plug things and stuff like that. So that's what was going on. Eventually, they started selling merch as well for this song called Act Bad. Now, this dude named Charles Kenyatta, who is in jail, he's claiming that he already had Act Bad copywritten and trademarked, and he was trying to put out clothing himself. But Puffy, being a bigger person, strong armed it. Now, Young Miami's website, she still is actively selling some Act Bad merch, like these um, jackets got Act Bad on it, please, Act Bad, real bad, woody woody woo. But on the actual social media website, she has since moved on from the Act Bad thing. She's promoting this yams, t-shirt, and things of that sort. This is the guy, Charles Kenyatta's, his is his website with Act Bad merch on it. And the first time I'm seeing that he's ever posted about something was May 20th, 2023. But he has been pursuing his lawsuit since January 25th, and he's saying the real reason why he's upset is that Diddy's, everything he has going on with him has damaged the brand, act bad because of all his shit. The Breakfast Club did report on this. Check this out right here. Uh, uh, Diddy is being sued uh, for the, uh, oh my God, no. Diddy is being sued for the trademark Act Bad. Now, Charles Kenyatta Jr. is, Charles, requesting, you don't want that. is requesting $10 million in damages in a lawsuit accusing Diddy of using Act Bad without permission. Charles, now, in light of the circumstances, you don't want that. Now, allegedly, this is what happened. They're saying that, you know, Kenyatta is a, he's, an, he's an inmate. He's in jail. He owns the trademark for Act Bad, and allegedly Diddy came to get the trademark from. What? They, were, they were negotiating terms of the trademark. This I guess they real. couldn't reach the terms, so Diddy just put it out anyway. This isn't real. That's what they're saying, allegedly. So they say Sean Combs and, and, and the John Doe signed a contract without Charles Kenyatta's consent, and now he wants $10 million. How much time Charles Kenyatta doing? 
like as they say. Charles Kenyatta should not be wanting to act bad in prison. Okay, <laughs> right? Okay, you need to be trying to act good in prison, so maybe you can come home uh, for, for on early release for good behavior. Now, Kenyatta, who is representing himself in the lawsuit, said uh, his act bag trademark has tarnished by Diddy's sexual assault allegations. What is he in prison for? I need to know what he's in prison for. He's doing a lot of judging from prison. What is he in prison for? I, I, huh? I don't know. It did not say. That's all the more reason. But, but my point is, that's all the more reason he shouldn't want to act bad trademark no more. Can y'all come up with something else? You ain't got nothing but time. Okay? But if he owns the trademark and somebody took his trademark. Don't nobody want that right now. You can't. You can't do it. But I've never seen Diddy, you know, sell t-shirts, nothing like that. But they said that he did do an act bad t-shirt. By the way, when I think act bad, I think, um, I really think Young Miami more than anything. Like, you know, when, when they did that, that interview and that conversation, she's the one who made the phrase hot. Right. If you ask me. Correct. Personally. Yeah, he, and he, he took it and went with it. He did a single on it. And it was whack. Yeah, it didn't really take off. Mm -mm. No. And lastly, Stephen A. Now, his caption, and Charlie C. do, he says, shout out to Envy, Charlemagne, the hater. So I'm going to keep it G. If this is true, there may be some merit to this lawsuit. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest with y'all at all times. I don't give a damn. I'm going to be transparent and honest. If he did have the copyright and trademark for this, I think he's going to get some money. I think he's going to get some money. But we're going to see how this going to go. But it looks like some people are starting to feel sympathy for Young Miami. Though. Since this person right here says he should be fired and sued for recording it. That nigga was too happy to serve in the papers. He looks so happy serving a female. What's going on with black men lately? Hey, yo, he really went out his way and was patient. It's from my homeboy, Charlie C, you've been served. Man, dude turned around ready to leave. Corny nigga, if it's a suit against Diddy, why is she being served? I just told y'all why. Matter of fact, shit, as I'm looking, your Miami commented again saying, I'm so tired of the internet and people fucking with me every day, trying to serve me some paper over merch that I'm not selling is lame. Like everybody want to go viral so bad, let's go viral, I'm tired. But as I told y'all, this the media perception. What that got to do with Miami? What she being sued for? This is a weird flex. Lord, remove all the bitch ass niggas from Earth, please. We've officially had enough. Y'all new men are something else. Cloud is a hell of a drug. Record everything nowadays. Hand your business and keep it moving. He goofy. How can a black person be so happy to take another black person down? Now I love Miami, but girl, nobody told you to start messing with a man who had allegations of gay and rape since before you was born. Like this person right here says, and this is even the this is even the dude. He says, what they got to do with bullying? Because at this point, this is definitely what it is. Y'all sick as fuck. The moment y'all see any black person going through some shit, y'all gang up on that per on that black person. How the fuck can we teach our kids not to bully if we doing this shit as adults? All she does is go to her club post and have a ball amount of business, ease up off my sis a bit. She should have immediately severed ties with Diddy as soon as the Cassie lawsuit came out. These are the results. Things she's done and said is coming back full circle. And I agree. I agree 100%. I'm surprised that she didn't sever ties. I'm so surprised. It'll be a tough position to come out and say something publicly. But even when it came to the, um, her, her friend posting the picture recently in what looked to be Puffy's airplane, his private plane, that was crazy to me because I'm thinking you should be wanting to be furthest away from what's going on. But to continue, I honestly feel like she need to stay away from Diddy. I hate they kind of bullying her now. Baby, just warm up, see you in prison. She's not going to prison. <laughs> She's not going to prison. I know a lot of folks are joking and shit, but the girl ain't going to prison. The Lil Raw lawsuit is mostly bullshit. The lawyer's being called out for bullshitting on many occasions, not just with Diddy right now, by judges. And people are starting to see through the bullshit and they're starting to defend Diddy and his affiliates. I'm gonna get more into that. I know academics did a whole breakdown on that shit, so y'all probably seen that. So, and people are much more receptive to him breaking it down because he's a bigger platform than mine, it's way bigger. So I get it, I understand it. But I've been telling y'all last this shit is bullshit. But I'm gonna get towards what's going on with Little Rod's lawyer in another video. But hey, this was going on with Young Miami right here. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.